Hello everybody and welcome back. So today's video we're going to try to keep it simple and sweet and it's going to be getting your Mac OS X onto your ESXi hypervisor. Um, this will work with hypervisor version 6.0 all the way up to 7.0 even with the new update that came out. Also I want to let everybody know that if your hypervisor is using secure boot this will not work you will have to disable secure boot and reinstall your hypervisor if you want to install Mac onto it. The files that you require to upgrade your hypervisor to allow Mac require to edit the boot file and secure boot will not allow that. Okay. So in this case, we're going to have to make sure that you have a hypervisor without secure boot. You can do this in a virtual environment as you're going to see me do it, but this is also recommended to do in a live environment. As you can see, I have an Intel Nook 10 on my live environment. So this is actually, you know, one of my home servers that I have here for testing out um, virtuals on ESXi. Okay. This video will not teach you how to put a Mac OS X on there. I will, you know, save that for another video. Um, but this video will show you how to be able to run a Mac on an ESXi to get the files uploaded. Also down below, you will need to download the ESXi Unlocker 301 zip. And inside there, you're going to have these eight files. And every one of these files will be uploaded to our hypervisor. So think, believing that you have everything all ready to go and you made the checklist, that you are not using secure boot. I know I keep saying that, but it's very crucial you do not have secure boot on. I have done this on my live environment here and it bricked the entire system that I had to reinstall from over again. So in this case being make sure secure boot is not doing is not on and do not do this in a live environment while you're in working hours. This is, deserves to be a different time. Okay, so I think I covered everything here. Let's go ahead and get into the video and move on. Okay, so now you can see here I logged into my hypervisor. Okay, I am using 7.0 uh, update 1. So let's go back over here as you can see here 7.1 Perfect. Right. Like I said, this will work no matter what. Even if you're using 7.0.0, it obviously works. So you can see my home lab it runs that. And as you can see, this is a very fresh copy. Let's go back over here. Uptime, not even a full day. So this was just recently installed. Go ahead and inside your data store, I also uploaded a Mac VM just to show that it is going to work in a little bit. Again, I will not show you how to make this virtual machine in this video. This will be done in a later video. We have our ISOs folder. So I'm going to actually want to create a couple of things. Create another directory. Oh, I don't want to create in there. Create directory. I'm going to call it unlocker. I'm going to create another directory. I'm going to call it VM tools. And that's it. So under unlocker, I'm going to go ahead and click upload. And as you can see here, here's my ESXi unlocker. This is where we want to go. It's already been pre unzipped. So it makes it easier for everybody here for me. And then unfortunately we're going to, have to upload one file at a time. The nice thing about it is they are very tiny. So go ahead and just start uploading each one. And then under VM tools, I'm going to go ahead and upload both Darwin ISOs. And there's a reason for these in a little bit, and we'll explain that later. Um, but as long as we have all this up here, all six of these files are ready to go. Go ahead and close out. Go back to host. And then you can see here this is done in my VMware. Actions, service, enable secure shell. And we need secure shell enabled because now we're going to go ahead and get it all up and running for us. Now from there, open up your favorite tool, mine, your, S, your favorite SSH tool, mine will be PuTTY. Log into it. Okay. So I want to make it nice and big for everybody. Now there's probably a few people out there who have never used ESXi. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go real simply step by step on for the few people to be able to find out how to get to the directory because you just can't log directly into your VMS or your storage file. You have to actually, you know, jump into it. So to do that, we're going to type in LS. 
Okay, and then we're going to look for that file or directory. So cd vmfs. Okay, again, we're going to look inside and we're going to look for the volumes directory. So cd volumes ls one more time. And now you're going to look for the name of your storage. Mine's VMS. So cd VMS. Now again, it doesn't say VMS here, and that's perfectly fine. That's just the UID for the storage device. Now just to verify we are in the correct area, just type again ls, and then there it is. So there's my Apple Mac directory, my ISO folder, my unlocker, and my VM tools. Now by default, ESXi does not allow executables or, or batch files to, not batch files, I'm sorry, batch files to be ran. So if you go inside on Locker, you're going to realize that it's not going to function or be able to work. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add that read and executable to it. So we're going to type in chmod 755-r, and then we're going to type in the folder that has all our unzipped um, unlocker files. So when I type in ls, nothing seems to be changed, but if I go to cd unlocker, and there's all our files. Now, if they're green, as you can see here, that means that they are executable and readable. If they are still white, that means that you will not be able to perform this and you have to go back and change again the permissions. You can also do this permissions in WinSCP and all the other different features, however you want to do it, but this is how we're gonna do it in this video. So we first need to check to make sure that we have SMC test, um, the SMC installed on it. So dot slash SMC, I'm sorry, ESXi SMC test dot SH. And as long as you see false, okay, that's good. That means that it's not installed on here, it's not working and we're able to proceed. If you get a permissions denied error, that means you did not do this correctly and please go back and do this correctly. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get installed. So dot slash ESXi install dot SH and go ahead and press enter. And as long as you see this success, we are ready to go. Now, if you ever want to uninstall ESXi, um, you know, for Mac or the, you know, uninstall this, it would just be running the uninstaller for this. Go ahead and click, type in the word reboot, and we're going to wait. So upon reboot, everything looks the same way it normally would. Nothing would change. Um, during the reboot process, you may notice that it's actually running the Pi Unlocker script. Uh, if you catch it real quickly, sometimes you don't, and that's perfectly fine. Um, let's go ahead and open up our host here and then what I'm going to do here is I have my Apple Mac we're gonna go ahead and see if it works and look at that and like I stated before this is not really meant to be ran on a ESXi hypervisor but it is the easiest for me to run because it is the smallest I believe all my other ones are 20 30 gigs and they're like 10 gig CDs and so it's not even worth it but this is good enough for that let me go ahead and close out of that close out of this and there you go so just to make sure there's our 7.01 update, still 60 days, manufacturers VMware, so this is our virtual. So now we want to get, you know, say you had this all installed, but you need to get VMware tools installed onto it. If you go to actions, guest OS, and install VMware tools, it's going to do nothing. And if you go over here, I will go ahead and close that. If you look here on your mount tools, failed to require the VMware tools ISO because it does not exist. So what you can do is you can either go ahead and copy 
everything into this folder. So when you log in, you have to SSH, user, lib, VMware, ISO images, Darwin, pre-15, and you can go ahead and put that in there. Um, in my case being, I already uploaded that to our storage, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mount it. It's gonna make it a much easier process. So we're gonna go over here to virtual machines, open up the virtual, just make sure there's nothing, no CDs mounted. Edit settings, down to DVD, data store, VM tools, Darwin Pre-15, and connect. And there we go. So now we have our VMware tools. That's where I want to go. I'm okay with that. You'll be greeted with your password checker and go ahead and install. Hit restart. And like I said, with this, these, these ISO tools, they're gonna work on, as you can see, 10.6, all the way up to 15, and then 16 and 17, which I believe are the newer Max out. I'm not really sure, I don't keep up too much with them. Um, that's where the other Darwin ISO is for. So anything that's 10.15 and under, you're gonna use the pre-15, everything above it you will. So if you're going to install, for example, Big Sur on here, which is the new one, that one you're going to need to use the Darwin ISO. And I just want to go ahead and get the last one. Now you're always going to get configuration virtual machines errors and stops in this. Um, you're not going to get them with you know, like, you know 10.10 .10 and above. Um, we're just getting that with this one because it's a very old setup and it's kind of, for lack of better words, Jimmy rigged to run on here. Okay, so it seems like it's an install, right click, eject, but the best way to find out is maximizing the screen. And there we go. So in conclusion here, we went ahead and we're able to have an ESXi hypervisor. In our case, it's ESXi hypervisor seven. And we're able to get a Mac operating system up and running using Unlocker. Okay. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave some comments down below. I'll do my best to assist you with it. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one.